Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change a fuel filter on your 40 horsepower Mercury boat motor that is way down in here. And a lot of people don't know there's another fuel filter in there. There's a fuel filter on this side, and there's one down here that's really hard to get to. And I'm going to show you how to change that today. So in a previous video, I had trouble with my boat motor. It would, I would go out in the water, it would run good for probably five minutes, maybe even a little bit longer, and I'd just go for a long run, and it would just die out on me. It would just start bogging down, and then it would shut off. And I'd sit for a little while, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, fire it up, and it'd go again for a little bit, and then it would sh the same thing would happen. It would bog down, and it would shut off. Somewhere up above here will be a link to that video. Plus, I'll leave a link to that video down in the description box and also in the comment section. Initially, I thought it was an impeller problem because if you're impeller that brings the water through your motor to cool it, it's like a wheel with, with paddles around. If that is wore out or getting old, it'll stop bringing the required amount of water through your motor to cool it. And when your motor gets hot, it'll automatically shut off so that you don't burn it up. So I thought that was the initial problem. It wasn't. So, so then I thought uh, it must be a fuel problem. The motor, for some reason, is stopping from getting its fuel. So I found out in the fuel line, there's an inner liner that breaks down over time. If you use just regular fuel, it'll break down quicker. So you have to use premium fuel. So what happened is that liner breaks down and it travels through the fuel system up to here on this side. I'll come around and show you in a minute, but there's a fuel filter here and it was clogged solid full of that liner that had been breaking down in the fuel line. But then there's another fuel line, that, uh, fuel line that runs under here and there's another filter over here. Now, fortunately, my filter on the other side caught all that broken down liner before it could travel any further. But if it does, and you should change the fuel filter down here anyways, once in a while, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. So getting back to the fuel line, the fuel line that comes from the fuel tank up to here, this I changed all this. And then I changed the filter on the other side and that resolved any issues I was having. But I wanna change this filter in here. I have it on order and I wanna get this changed. So I was just tinkering around, trying to figure out how to get it out of there. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So you likely won't be able to see it, but under this here, I don't even know what this part is, but there's a, your fuel lines right here and it's, it's inside of a black sleeve. That's where your fuel filter is way down in there, but it's hard to get, get at. And the only thing I can see is to take this part here off. It's just bolted on here. I took this connection here off. It's like an electrical connection. So I'll remove this, just let it lay here to the side. Now that'll give me access to that filter. So what we'll do to remove this part here is there's a bolt here and a bolt here that mounts it to the motor. We'll have to remove it. So I just about have these two bolts off. This one here is a, it's a 5 16th or I thought it was metric, but my metric didn't seem to be working for me. Eight, I used an eight on here, eight mil, but yeah, the 5 16th seems to be working way better down here. Okay, so the bottom one is loose now and the top one here has a spacer. I don't think there's a spacer on the bottom one. So I'm just gonna be very careful here to hold this spacer. I don't wanna drop anything. You never, oh, like I just did. I got it though. So I got, and the bottom one does have a spacer. So this, that will be tricky. So we gotta get this wire out of the way. We gotta make sure we don't drop anything here. But there it is. That's the part I had to remove. It's just some electrical part. But now, I think you can tell that this right here is your fuel filter, right in here. So there's the filter. It's inside that black sleeve that has a pl black plastic tie around it. So that's it right there. 
So all we have to do is remove that plastic tie, remove the sleeve, and undo the connections for the fuel filter. Put the new filter in, and that's it. Now if I had a filter, I would show you exactly how to do it, but I think the hardest part is finding it and getting to it. And I just wanted to show you is how to do it. So the reason they have this plastic tie on here is because they just have it strapped to the wiring harness here. Just to keep things tight and not loose and flopping around. So I'm just going to cut it off. Because I want to expose the fuel filter for you. So there, I just slid the, slid the sleeve back a bit. As you can see, hopefully you can see this. There we go. Yeah, there's the fuel filter. So you'll have to disconnect that both ends, pop a new one in, and just do everything back up, you're good to go. So like I said, I have my fuel filter on order. I don't have it yet. I'm not sure when I'm going to get it. So I'm not going to take this one off because I can still use my boat. You know, it's only the beginning of October. I still have lots of time to do some fishing, go out for a ride, whatever I want. So I don't want to disable my boat in case it's another two, three weeks before my filter shows up. But just be careful when you're undoing things, especially the wiring, the connections on this electrical part here, this in here. You don't want to break anything, especially when it comes to electrical. So I hope that helps you find where that fuel filter is on these Mercury four-stroke engines. And it's not as hard as it looks. You can do it. Like I said, it's just a matter of getting this out of the way to get to the fuel filter. So if this video helped you, I hope it did, leave me a comment below, hit the like button and please subscribe, it really helps my channel. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.